when you ask about you know, why did they start uh, developing as they did in terms of my own students, I think it came out of a project I did in 1976 with six teachers, and I worked with them well over a year uh, on improving science in mixed ability groups. And what happened was that I was asked to write an evaluation report, and I wrote bringing in models of teaching and learning, of curriculum innovation, and models of evaluation. Now, the academics thought this was a good report. The teachers said they couldn't see themselves in it. And would I please go back to the data that I'd gathered and see if I could construct a story within which they could see themselves. So I did that with the help of one of the teachers, Paul Hunt. And it had the form. Um, we have some problems when our values are not being lived as fully as possible. And then we imagined what we could do about it, and we acted. And as we were acting, we were gathering data so we could make a judgment on whether we were being effective. And then we evaluated ourselves, and we modified in the light of that process. Now, as soon as I gave that back to the teachers, <coughs> they could see themselves in it. And it had that very disciplined, but it, almost co it was common sense inquiry process of, right, I've got a concern, my values are not being lived. I imagine what to do, I act, I gather data, I evaluate, and then I modify in the light of that evaluation. Now, I think that has appealed to whichever group I have talked to since 1976. And I think that's why people take to this inquiry process. And then when I show how you can build a valid explanation of your influence mm -hmm. using that approach, I do think they get very excited about bringing their own knowledge into a public forum and sharing it. 